Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just gonna be a quick little upgrade video. Um, I'm working on this outcast. It's actually not my outcast, my body, but not my outcast. A buddy of mine who's given this away for somebody for Christmas needed some help getting it back together. And I'm gonna throw a few upgrades that I have here at the house on it, which are this Oak Days bumper front bumper which is gonna look pretty cool on here guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing installed on the truck now it comes with everything that you need to install it all the hardware's here new a block bumper that you use to replace this part of the bumper is this so I'll show you as I get it all together. Now, like I said, it comes with all the hardware. I don't use these. German size doesn't fit my wrench for some reason. And I'll show you these little spacers. These are trick. This is this is what makes this quality right here. Um, so let me get the front bumper off of here, and I will show you how we do this. Okay guys, so first things first, you gotta get these two bolts that go through the front of the bumper into the bulkhead. You get those two screws out and then you can get the truck flipped over and you can see them a lot better there. Then you remove these 2.5 millimeter screws and you don't really have to take them all out at this point. I just do to set myself up but the front two have to come out to release the bumper because there's a little tab that fits inside there. We'll come back to that. So here I'm just putting a couple in to hold the bulkhead in spot. Now I take the front bumper and I cut that tab off and I put it back in because there's a gap between the bulkhead and the chassis right there. As you can see that, that gap, that fits inside there and the bulkhead screws go through it to kind of secure that bumper. So I just take my side cuts and cut it off. It is a little tough, a Dremel cutoff wheel would probably be easier, but this does work. Just fiddle with it, you'll get it off. It doesn't have to look pretty. You're not even gonna see it. It's literally to fill this gap. I promise it's easier than I made it look. And then that will fit in there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this screw back out real quick so I can get this in there so I don't forget because I will forget. So even the stock bumper has that. You can cut this off and put that in there. It works, it doesn't matter which one. That was just a brand new looking bumper. So I had an old Typhon bumper that I cut it off of. So now this is the block that bolts back up with those front two bolts that go through the bulkhead. The two wide points go down and you just stick it it's got little holes made for the pins to sit so they can't go out. He supplies the screws with the kit to put these back in. And I just go ahead and run these in and get them in. And then that block is set. Your hinge pins cannot come out anymore once you have this bolted on. And like I said, the bumper ends up bolting to this by those two holes that's really wide. And guys, you're gonna hear me say this a lot. Always tighten everything down by hand. When you're going into plastic, make sure you run your screws in slow. Don't full speed it, because it just gets that plastic extremely hot and just makes your threads weak. 
So now we got the bumper itself out. And you just flip the truck over, guys. Pull out your screws from underneath, the ones that I just have holding it in so that I can flip it back and forth. We'll pull those two screws out. And once we get those two screws out, then we can lay the bumper on and attach the bumper with all four of the bulkhead screws. So as you can see, it does include some longer screws and some so they're just like a couple millimeters longer, but that's all you need just to make it long enough to go through this. He also gives you these 3D printed spacers. Now these are shaped so they fit in the bevel so that your chassis is completely flat and it won't, rip, it won't let the screws rip through the bumper because of that hollow down. And the flat side down, obviously, and you just insert your four screws back into the bulkhead and once you get your four screws back in your bulkhead make sure that you tighten those down by hand you don't want to strip out This is RC for us.